Hey everybody, welcome to CR NT Designers. This is Chetan and this is the part 2 of the concept of production ready modeling. So without further ado, let's get started. You can see this is our concept mesh and you can see its topology is little bit weird. We need to create the right topology on this model means we need to create the right production ready model. So let's create it. To make the model, I'm going to add the cylinder. So shift A add the cylinder and I will go with the 24 words. Then you need to scale down the cylinder along the z-axis as a like this. Then you need to go to the edit mode, select these words, right click, connect vertex path. Then you can select the faces as like this and then delete the faces. Then just you need to select these words and then extrude these words along the y-axis as like this. Then give the right position to the words and then press F to fill the gap. You can see there. In this way, you will get this kind of form. Now the next thing you need to use the knife tool at here and you need to create the cuts like this. You need to maintain the right chord base topology on the model. So that's why you need to create these cuts. After that you need to apply the scale on the model and then you need to select the faces with the shift select. Because we want to create the loop structure and that's why we need to use the insert operation. So that's why just select these faces and use the insert operation. After that, the next thing, we need to scale it. So that's why we need to select the top faces only. You can select this loop structure with the shortest path selection. And then you need to scale these faces along the X and Y axis. Then you need to turn on the X-ray mode and then select these words and then scale them along the Y axis and make them flat. Then select this edge loop and here also you need to use the scale tool and you need to scale it along the y axis and make it straight. After that you need to add the loop cuts like this. These are the supportive loop cuts. And then you can add few more loop cuts like this on the model to add more geo on the model that topology. Then I need to add one more cylinder add there. So shift A add the cylinder and vertex count will be 8. Then go to the edit mode, select these words and then right click connect vertex path. Select that edge loop and then control B and then add bevel on that edge loop. Select these faces and then move these faces along the X axis in this way. And just need to create the basic block out at there to create the boolean details. As you have seen in this concept mesh. Just adjust the scale along the z-axis, give the right position to it and just try to create that basic block out for the boolean details. After that you need to use the knife tool at here because I want to create one loop structure at there on the model. So that's why I use the knife tool and then create a cuts like this. And then select these words, right click connect vertex path and give the right position to the words. Then you need to select that object, that boolean object and then set the origin to the geometry. And then shift D to duplicate it and then move it along the y axis as like this. After that you need to select these two objects and you need to scale them, means you need to move the words along the x axis. Then you can select these objects and use the boolean operation which is difference to create those boolean details. Now just you need to apply all the boolean modifiers because we want to create the production ready model. Then you can delete these cutter objects. We don't need these cutter objects. Now just you need to select these faces with the shift select. And you need to use the extrude operation add there which is the extrude along the normal. So use that operation which is extrude along the normal and give the proper offset amount at there because I want to create that loop structure at there. Then you can select these faces and you can adjust their scale little bit along the x and y axis in this way. Then you can use the insert operation at there. And now just you need to select the words right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words and just try to create the good topology at there which is very easy thing. Easily you can do this thing. After that you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the cuts like this means you need to connect the words like this. 
So use the knife tool and then connect the words like this. You can see I'm trying to create the right chord based topology and I'm creating those supportive cuts, supportive edges to maintain this boolean form. Just observe this video carefully so you can understand the topological structure at there. After that you just need to take the symmetry along the x-axis. Now here I have added one loop cut and here I'm going to use the redirection of each flow. So I will give the redirection to these edges. So these loop structure will cover only the boolean details. So you can see, you can see I'm trying to get that loop structure at there and same thing I need to repeat at here also. I just want to increase the little bit of distance at there so that's why I can move the words. Then add the loop cuts like this and try to repeat the same steps means use the knife tool or select the words rightly connect vertex path and then you can dissolve these edges as like this and just try to get that right loop structure at there. You can see I have got that loop structure at there which is only there to support this boolean details. Then you can select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry and you can see that loop structure. So it is called the redirection of edge flow. This is very important you should know this thing. So in this way you can increase or reduce the vertex count and you can give the redirection to your edge flow so it won't affect remaining part of the model. Then just need to add a few more loop cuts and you need to create the right topology on the model means that you need to create that chord based topology. Then just here I'm creating that loop structure at the bottom side also and which is very simple just need to use the knife tool. And then you can add few more loop cuts on the model these are the supportive loop cuts to maintain the good form on the model. Then just you need to add the sub D modifier and then add few more loop cuts like this increase that sub D count and turn off that auto smooth angle and shade smooth it. And now you can see the model looks really well. Just I have added few more loop cuts to maintain the good harder edges on the model. Then you can select these face loops and then use the insert operation at there. And now you can see that looks really well. We have got the decent smooth shading on the model. Then you can just adjust the position of the words. Now just I want to create the little bit of boolean details. So that's why I'm going to select these faces with the shift select. And then increase that selection. And then right click use the loop tool and then circle option. Then you can adjust the scale at here and select these words and then you can see the vertex count at there. Then just select these faces and then adjust the scale and just try to create a little bit of boolean details at there. It's not that much difficult easily you can do this. Then use the insert operation and one more time use the insert operation and you can move it along the z axis. And just create a little bit of boolean details. That's very simple. And then just turn on your sub D modifier. Share smooth it and now you can see that's look really well. Easily we have created this kind of model. And you can see its topology which is really well. Now just I will use my kit bash part to add more details on it and I have given the link of my kit bash nuts and bolts volume 1 and you will get it on our Gumroad store. Link is in the description. And now just I will use this kit bash part to add more details. If you want more this kind of tutorials then please do comment in the comment box. I will try to create as much as I can. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.